So you think or you know that you'll be able to print out this new bacteria? Are people doing this? Is this a, com- a, a company now to print out yes, gut it is. bacteria? The, this company is called uh, Personalized Probiotics. The first product I'm holding here is called Petomix because we consider these your pets. So this is a fun product. Um, I don't know about you, but I think Coop smells not so great. Right. Most of us would that, – that's why we have the colloquialism – that person thinks their blank does not smell. Shit smells like roses, right? Right. Exactly. Right. So literally, are you telling me that with these probiotics, we're not going to need to spray rose petal spray? Exactly. That's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm telling you, right now. Literally, so, you're going to kill the air freshener business. Well, we'll, we'll create a new human-powered uh, air freshener right. business. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to fart. Roses. Yeah. And when you think you're on an airplane, you know, luckily now you're in San Francisco, you don't have to travel as much, but you're right. bringing 90% farts, right? Yeah. So it would be good if they were good smelling, right? So literally this company, mm-hmm. you, you can take out whatever is causing odor so we in your can, gut? So we sequence uh, the full genome of right. the microbes, whether it's E. coli or lactobacillus or, mm-hmm. you know, the hundreds of other uh, bacteria that colonize our gut. Uh, we can see sequences that result in uh, smell. Hmm. Uh, it's not always possible to remove them because they're critical to the functioning of it, but you can also put in things that will break down that bad smell produced by those genes. You can also put in inside any smell that you want. All smells that we smell on planet uh-huh. Earth are genetically encoded in the DNA. Holy cow. So bananas, roses, right. lavender, this anything. This is why some people can smell. You smell these right now. Yeah, right. or asparagus. Yeah. Is it asparagus that some people can smell in their pee and some yeah. people can't smell? Right. Right, there's like some gene that right. you either have or not. Right, right. It's all genetically encoded. So Fascinating. The first two products, uh, one is called Banana Breeze and the other is called Minty Wins. Minty Wins. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So brilliant. Yeah. We can all so, guess what that means. Yeah, so you can see what's coming, smell what's coming out of that. Smell, uh, it smells wow. kind of like um, the artificial banana. Yeah, it does. Because that's exactly what it is. And it's funny that artificial banana smell is produced in this microorganism for production already. We're just taking it and putting it inside of the gut of you living think organisms. Will drink that. Yeah. And you could drink it right now. I, I'm not drinking it, but I, I might drink it actually. We do shots of banana. So banana. this is going to make people's poop smell like bananas. In this case. In this but case. if they want roses, they could do that if they want mint. Uh, we also recently just did a uh, vaginal probiotic company uh, called Sweet Peach, which allows you Sweet to. Sweet Peach, got it. Uh, change the smell and the taste. Uh, also be useful for things like uh, urinary tract infections, ah, yes. um, yeast infections. I've got like a million jokes right now. I'm not going to go there, but basically... When we, when we, when we watch the commercials, maybe... You're saying can, uh, that... Tell some jokes. The taste... You could change the taste of a vagina. Yeah, exactly. And you're coming up with these ideas or people are pitching you on these ideas... So or, these initial ideas were all ideas that I would come up with friends sitting around yeah. like, hey, wouldn't that be kind of messed up or right. cool like if we did this or hey, what if we did that? Right. And it was usually a joke. Uh, and then we were like, well, let's see how far we can go with it. 